Hello everyone and thanks for watching Edupedia World Videos. In this video, I will show you the solutions to the physics questions of paper 2 of JEE Advanced 2015. I will solve the problems as they appear in code 1. Now this is a slightly tricky question. This does, question does have some concepts involved in this. So we have two liquids, L1 and L2 and we have two objects attached by a string P and Q and we are given that the radii are equal and the densities are rho1 and rho2 and so the densities of this is rho1 rho2 the densities of the liquids are sigma1 sigma2 and the viscosities are eta1 and eta2 and they are floating in equilibrium with P in the first liquid and Q in the second liquid. Then we are given that the sphere P in L2 has a terminal velocity Vp and Q in L1 has a terminal velocity Vq. So first of all let us calculate what the terminal velocity is. So if P is kept in L2 that means P will experience a force of buoyancy upwards and it will experience a gravitational force downwards and it will experience a drag force. Now, P is lighter than L1, that's why it is floating and L1 is lighter than L2, that's why it's up. So, P is definitely lighter than L2, that means P will end up going upwards, right? So, so the for equation for P will be 6 pi eta rv will be 4 by 3 pi r cube times sigma 2 minus rho 1 because sigma 2 will be the uh, corresponding to the buoyant force upwards which will be more than the force due to gravity downwards so the viscosity uh, will be downwards and this will be equal to this and from this we can get the terminal velocity that is you, these are results you should probably know as well it is 2 r squared by 9 this is eta 2 because we are calculating for 2 so 2 r squared by 9 eta 2 times sigma 2 minus rho 1 upwards this is Vp. Similarly, Vq will be 2 r squared by 9 eta 1 in this case, rho 2 minus sigma 1. And this will be downwards. Why? Because Q is even heavier than L2. Remember, if there was no tension in the string, Q would be go downwards. Because there is a tension, Q is staying afloat. So the first equation we can see is option D. Option D says that their dot product is less than zero, which is true because they are in opposite directions. Then we want to find the ratio of magnitudes of them. So for that we can do something easy. We can take them both as a system. If we take them combined as a system, then the tension becomes an internal force. Right. And since they are floating, the net buoyant force will be equal to the net gravitational force. So the equation will be V times rho 1 plus rho 2 G is equal to V times sigma 1 plus sigma 2 g. The total buoyant force is equal to the total gravitational force. From this equation I get sigma 2 minus rho 1 is equal to rho 2 minus sigma 1. And this equation means these two terms are equivalent. If those two terms are equivalent then mod of Vp by mod of Vq will simply be eta 1 by eta 2 because these two terms are the same we are talking about magnitudes not the direction 2 r square by eta is completely same so it will be eta 1 by eta 2 so the answer to this question will be option A and option D the first option is correct and so is the third option thank you